my second out of five trains that I'm taking around India and I'm definitely learning from each experience. Hi. <laughs> I would like to share some things with you because I know that it's going to save just time and energy and anxiety and frustrations. see our train on the board which is a little bit scary because it's leaving soon. We managed to find someone that could help us and apparently our five o'clock train has just been uh, cancelled which is fun. First up one thing I learn about is that if you google uh, Indian train, oh there's a train coming, the first one is if you google uh, train status, live train status, Indian railway, um, it's going to give you a breakdown of what time the trains are expected to leave. Um, so no matter what time they're scheduled, what time the delay is going to be, bear in mind that these change at the last minute um, and they often, even though a train is running late, let's say it leaves your station three hours late, it doesn't necessarily mean that three hours later it will get to where you want to go because the trains run slowly. It's uh, seven hours late, but our train has finally arrived. Mm. Got a bit of bunk bed action going on. I think this is going to be a very interesting experience. Hi. So we just found out that our train that was six hours late departing is actually going to be uh, 12 hours late arriving in Varanasi. The most frustrating thing is that there's no one to really ask where we are or when we get off. Um, so we're sort of feeling a little confused. Okay, so things that you're going to need to survive an Indian sleeper train. Um, number one, you're going to need some earplugs. Uh, between the people coming back and forth, asking if you want chai or coffee, the ticket salesmen, the people who just decide to scream at seven o'clock in the morning, you're going to need these. Um, also, like <laughs> right on schedule. You're also going to need an eye mask. Uh, we didn't work out that the light over our bed actually turns off at, until about seven hours into the journey, but either way, you're going to want this. Uh, next, although we were provided with some um, pretty clean starched sheets uh, and a blanket and a pillow, I still chose to bring my own soft, comfy blanket. And then, for those of you campers, um, this is a mummy sack. Uh, so you put it in between the sheets and it's just like an extra layer of warmth and a bit of hygiene. And then my trusty, my trusty camping pillow. So my next advice is wet wipes and lots and lots and lots of hand sanitizer. Uh, do you want to know why? tiger balm or something strong smelling that you can spray into toilets or put under your nose before you use the toilets because they are um, they're interesting yep they'll definitely wake you up in the morning the other thing that I think would be really handy to know is when a train rolls in your berth so whether you're in a first class AC2 whatever it is they're all in designated areas and that does change from train to train so what you can do is on some on some platforms uh, along the, the railway tracks you might see a little sign um, which changes electronically as to as to where your train berth might be. Um, the other thing that you can do is literally just look at the trains when they come in and it's written on the side of the train. The only thing with that is that the trains are very very long and you might have to walk the entire length of a train platform to be able to get to your berth so it's better to try and work out roughly what area it's going to be in before the train calls in. Had enough of this train can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't do it. It's been days. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Some trains don't have lights on them at night time, so you can bring a headlamp. That might help as well uh, if you're trying to navigate your way through. Delayed for 24 hours. We're forced to eat the food on the train. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad. 
Although the food does come on the trains, we've been offered potato chips and soup and curry and water and chai. Um, on this train, uh, the first train we were literally woken up every five minutes with someone offering us food. On this train, it was uh, a good 14 hours till someone walked past offering us water. So I think just in case, make sure you have water and make sure you have snacks so that you don't go hungry. So far, the best thing about this journey has been the chai. It's pretty tasty, eh? Mmm. <laughs> Especially because we're not going to be eating for about 15 hours. I'm on a fast. <laughs> We have been traveling for over 24 hours now. Um, we are currently running at a 15 hour delay, remembering that our journey was only supposed to be 12 hours to begin with. Um, two more stops to Varanasi. Let's see what happens, what time we get there. <laughs> I guess I came here wanting to truly immerse myself in Indian culture and lifestyle, so uh, we took a big bite out of that today is uh, the types of trains that you can take. There is first class, AC2, AC3, um, sleeper, unreserved, chair. Uh, people say that you shouldn't take first class because you're just locked away from everybody. You're never really gonna get that true sense of, of India. Um, I ended up taking AC2, which is an air conditioned second class. Uh, there's four people sleeping in each berth and you get pillows and blankets and I mean, it's fairly safe. They say that it's like the Indian upper class. Uh, AC3 is pretty much similar, but you get six people in each berth. Um, sleeper class. Uh, I don't I don't know if this is gonna be for me. Maybe you're a bit more adventurous. There are six people in each booth. booth. Um, the problem with that is that if someone wants to sit, the middle bed on either side folds up and uh, people will then share the seat underneath. So if you're going to be sleeping, make sure you get that top bunk because um, then you won't be disturbed. I've heard horror stories about people being drugged and then when you're asleep, uh, they, people steal your bags. So I've been recommended to bring bike locks, padlocks to pad, uh, to pad your uh, belongings up when you sleep. Sleep with your, um, obviously your valuables in your bed. There's always a mad rush when the train comes into a station where vendors are selling people bottles of water and chai through the windows of the train. This is a typical train ticket. Um, a few things to help you understand. This is the train number that you'll be using. This is the coach that you'll be getting on, your seats, whether you're upper berth or lower berth. And then down here is the um, dates and expected time of departure. 21 hours on a train with only this to use and it smells. Travelling by train is a quintessential Indian experience. Nothing quite compares to the wonders you'll witness, the nervous anticipation and heady exhilaration of navigating across a country. With these tips, you'll be more than prepared. Dive in. It's impossible not to. Well, that's me, Dan. Thanks so much for watching. I'm off to take a train to Jaipur. If you'd like to see more of my adventures, then make sure to follow me on my social channels, and they're all here.